Hi there, this is Corey Ringdahl with the Red Carpet Report. Uh, tonight we are here to celebrate the extraordinary Stan Lee. We'll be talking with uh, many of the luminaries who are going to be celebrating him with us. And uh, come along with us and my fellow guardians as we have that exact conversation. Oh, yeah, right. a couple of yeah. I'm uh, Corey with Red Carpet Report. Could I have you introduce yourselves, please? Sure, I'm John Schnepp. I'm Holly Payne. And uh, you're here to help celebrate Stan Lee. Are you excited? Uh, yeah, most definitely. Uh, Stan Lee is a living legend, uh, having grown up as from a little kid, reading all of his comic books from Marvel, loving the characters that he created with all these other artists. It's a fantastic thing to finally uh, say thank you to him. How many times are you going to say fantastic tonight? Fantastic Four. Fantastic, fantastic Four. Probably <laughs> at least 11 times, Holly. Great. So um, how would you say that Stan Lee's works, or the man himself, has uh, influenced you professionally or personally? Uh, he uh, gave me the courage to go on and, uh, and try different things, creativity, to try being uh, an artist, to draw comic books, to draw characters, to create my own characters. That led to me uh, directing cartoons for like 20 years. So I've directed a lot of cartoon shows for Cartoon Network. And a lot of that was inspiration from my early days as a little kid sitting and drawing Spider-Man and Fantastic Four and the Hulk and a myriad of other Star Wars characters. But like, really, Marvel was the main character, the main characters that I would draw besides Batman and Superman. Of course, you know, the big, the big characters that were part of my childhood. Stanley had a big part of that. It is the house of imagination after all. Um, I would just say honestly that he's, uh, he's, he's an icon for so many reasons and it's not just the comic books. I feel like he's uh, been an icon for people who uh, feel different and, um, you know, there's, he's brought this whole world together where people can um, connect to each other uh, and through comics there's a metaphor to be said then and, and we're seeing it not just in comics but now we're seeing it on the big screen I think the Marvel movies in particular have also had that effect on children and young people and, um, and I'm really thrilled to see how far how far he's come with it so he's left an indelible impression Stanley has on the American psyche the American culture what do you think the world would be like if he had never put pen to paper uh, you'd have like uh Hey, you're gonna you're gonna check out the creepy crawling dude. Maybe they wouldn't have the uh, a lot of the exciting, uh, very flavory, colorful characters that him and Steve Ditko and Jack Kirby came came up with in the in the early '60s. I think there would be definitely something missing from the comic book lexicon, and then uh, adding to that culturally. So, a world without Stan Lee would be a sad place to live in. I'm just glad we're in the dimension where we do get him. That's right. Because <laughs> um, I don't want to think about the other ones. So maybe not the worst timeline after all. Right. Exactly. That's right. Yeah. This is the dimension that Dormammu did not absorb. <laughs> right. Yeah. right, right, right. Thank you very much. I appreciate your time. Thank you. Hey, folks, I hope you had as good a time as I did. Uh, make sure you leave a comment below uh, telling us about how Stan Lee changed your life. Uh, give us a like. Definitely a subscribe if you haven't already. And remember, Excelsior.